No, I mean, it's interesting. But, uh, I, I, mean, I have no love for the EU at all, and much of what it does uh, drives me around the bend. When but you say you have no love for it, you, no, I just, you, you know, I, uh, you abandon it like a lover that you I envy no those, longer love. No. <laughs> I, I, I envy people on both sides their certainty. Those who are passionate about the EU, but like the lady at the back who absolutely think our destiny is there. Well, like and, the Prime Minister and those is like, passionate about and it. And those too. like Patrick who. No, the Prime Minister isn't passionate about well, it. He it's, says he was going to no, say we should stay in whatever no, 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 happens. No, he does not say that. He he absolutely does he not say that. Rupert, he, he told Rupert Murdoch at a party I was at just before Christmas. I just thought I'd tell you that. Carry on. I get a bit of gossip. Engagement. I get a bit of a gossip. Engagement a party. He woman, said eh? that um, engagement party. <laughs> <laughs> he's polished his game up, hasn't he? I mean, it's not amazing, really. Um, he, that, uh, he described himself to uh, Rupert as a Eurosceptic. So there we are. No, exactly. Which is an amazing, amazing exactly. thing. We, for no, we, we, everybody in the Conservative Party is Eurosceptic. It's simply a question of whether we think that, on balance, it's safer and better for Britain's security to be in or out. And, and I find it difficult, but my view is if the Prime Minister, who is not in any way starry-eyed about the EU, if he comes back after months and months of discussion and says that he's secured enough to recommend that we stay, then I'll back him, because I think he's much closer to it than most of us. He's trying to get a best deal for Britain. No, look, this is the guy who vetoed a treaty, who reduced our budget contributions. He's stood up against EU meddling, more than most prime ministers ever have done. If he stands in front of the British people and says, do you know what, I actually think we're better off in, then I'm going to support him. So, so he, is, he, he, hang on, he's, he agrees with Chris yeah. Grayling then, because yeah. Grayling says simply staying in the EU with our current terms of membership unchanged would be disastrous. And you're saying the Prime Minister agrees with that. So no, I think Grayling and he are on the same side, far from being a divisioning no, tablet. No, you're, 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 you're very cleverly putting words in my mouth, David, I'm but I don't, I don't agree, agree with the, uh, any of the Chris words Grayling's that you just, words you just spouted. What I'm saying is that the Prime Minister is hard-headed about this. He has no romantic attachment to the EU, but he's also very clear-eyed about Britain's national interests. 